Yo guys, what's up? It's D Fantasy here back with another video and today we're going to be opening uh, an order of the Spellcasters structure deck for you guys. Uh, so yeah, it tells you all the cards in the back. Um, this is the new Endymion structure deck that was released uh, today, or uh, sorry, yesterday. Uh, I just received it today though. Um, and yeah, some of the most uh, more um, well-known reprints is... Uh, first one you got the you got what's it called uh magical abductor is a good good reprint um you got summoner monk you got spellbook magician of prophecy uh you have droll and lockbird we actually did get that in this structure deck here uh finally um Konami did not um finesse us <laughs> this time uh we got um spellbook of secret spellbook of power whiz spellbook of wisdom we got Terraform, we got Left Arm Offering, Pot of Desires, um, and yeah, those are just like right there, I feel like the Droll and Lockbird and the Desires pay for this hap, like pretty much value of the structure deck. Um, but anyways, let's just get this, let, let's get started. Let's open this up. Try not to ruin the box, even though we're probably going to end up tossing it out anyways. Inside with the guide. Comes with a beginner's guide. Just tells you what it is, know your monsters, uh, how a turn works, you know, stuff like that, basic stuff. I toss the box over to the side. The guide comes here. Uh, next, we got the playmat. <clears throat> it would be cool if uh, uh, the Konami did make these paper playmats. But, um,. That. So that's the front. And then the back, it just tells you a bunch of combos you can do. Sorry for the hair, the big glare, guys. Got Savage Strike, Dark New Storm. That set's gonna be lit. Really nice. Oh, that's why. <laughs> there you go. Uh, but just for the purpose of the video, since we're opening up the Strush deck, I'm gonna put this as the background. Plastic, and yeah, here is the structure deck, guys. Here's this tab open. Part of the card. There you go. We got it, guys. We got it. Um, so we got so we got magic. Uh, Endymion, mighty master of magic, has our first card. So it does have a long, a quite a bit long, of, uh, quite a bit of text. So I'll, t I'll tell you what it does real quick. So basically, its pendulum effect is um, you can remove six spell counters from your field, so anywhere on the field. Um, special summon this card from your pendulum zone, then count the number of cards you control that you have that have a spell counters that have a spell counter. Destroy up that many cards on the field, and if you do place spell counters e uh, on this card equal to the number of cards destroyed, you can only use this effect. Of Master of Magic once per turn. So basically what it does is, so basically you remove six spell counters from anywhere on the field, special summon this guy from your pendulum zone onto the field, and then um, basically however many cards you have that can hold spell counters, can hold spell counters, yeah, basically uh, uh, let's say you have like Jackal King, Cerberus, and uh, I don't know, a Magister or an uh, Abductor. You would destroy three cards and special summon this guy and destroy up the uh, three cards. And then you'd put the counters on him to the however many cards you, you destroy. So there's that. Then there's Reflection of Endymion. Uh, I play him at one in my build. He's not the best, but he's okay. I probably will cut him out though. If you guys do want a deck profile, let me know in the comment section below. And I will do that. Um, we got Spell Power Mastery. Which is the Rota for your deck. You could search any Endymion card. And of course use it once per turn. You got Dwimmered Path. Let's see if it's... There you go. Dwim Dwimmered Path. Target one spellcaster effect monster in your grave added to your hand. So it's just like a recycle. And you got the Link mo Link Monster for uh, Breaker. His name's Daybreaker, the Shining Magical Warrior. Again, a one of if you want. You don't have to play. This deck, that's something about this deck that's really cool is you don't necessarily need to go into the extra deck. So if you want, you could play Pot of Extravagance. Not necessary, but you can. 
Uh, this card, Magister of Endymion, one I probably think is the second or third best card in the deck. Really good. So what it does is, uh, each time a spell card, uh, this is a pendulum effect. Each time a, a, a spell card is activated, place one spell counter on this card. When that spell resolves, you remove three counters from this card. Or summon both this card from your pendulum zone and one face up from your extra deck that you can place a spell counter on. So you can send, you can make Electromite, send uh, Master, you could send um, this guy to the extra deck, <coughs> um, remove the three counters, special summon this and the Endymion, and now you have, um, and he places a spell counter on both of them. And now he becomes untargetable because he, when he's on the field, he becomes untargetable and undestroyable by card effects when he has a counter on. Uh, next, I probably say is the best monster in the deck, Servant of Endymion, uh, because you just remove three counters from this card, especially summon both this card from your Pendulum Zone, and one monster from your deck with a thousand or more attack that can place spell counters. So any monster that can hold spell counters with a thousand more attack, you just special summon it with this card. That's his Pendulum effect. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Which is what you want to use it for normally. <coughs> then you got uh, basic, the old style Endymion, the OG Master Magician. You got Crusader of Endymion. <coughs> Crusader of Endymion. Defender of the Magical Knight. Oh, this is... Sorry guys, I need to get a better camera. Uh, Mythical Beast Cerberus. Uh, Mythical Beast Medusa. Magical something, literally called Magical something. <coughs> magical Exemplar. Magical Abductor. This is a uh, two or three of in the deck, I think. But again, if you guys want that link, uh, that uh, uh, deck profile, leave, drop it in the comment section below and drop me a like. Let me know in the comments. Disenchanter. Apprentice Magician. Demoth, Dark Magician of Chaos. Pretty good, OG, classic. Fairy Tail Luna, Summoner Monk, Spellbook Magician of Prophecy as a common man. Looks weird. But, another good card. Magical Undertaker, Magician of Faith, and there it is, guys. Droll and Lockbird. Dang. There it is, guys. There it is. Endymion's Lab, Magical Citadel of Endymion. Spell Power Grasp, another Spell Power Grasp, Arcane Barrier, <coughs> Spell Book of Secrets, yes, nice, Spell Book of Power, Spell Book of Wisdom, Magical Blast, Magical Dimension, Terraforming, Left Arm Offering, there it is, another one, and Pot of Desires, yes. There we go. Do like I do. So highly suggest you guys get pick up the structure deck, or at least the singles, if you guys want. But if you're going for singles, might as well get the structure because this pretty much pays for the whole value, man. Honestly, <clears throat> uh, mythical bestia morph, pitch black power stone, extra buck, gagaga -ga -ga shield, and magician circle. So yeah, guys, that's it. Um, that's it for the structure deck opening hopefully you guys enjoyed um, if you did let me know in the comment section below if you guys want a deck profile for this and uh, yeah um, hope you guys enjoyed peace out let me know if you guys get the structure deck or if you guys are thinking of getting the structure deck and um, yeah peace out guys take care